They didn't touch Hammer at all, which was a mistake. So I think this character once legal is going to be crazy. Dental on the dark orange with Magyar, it's so incredibly close. Oh, I don't know, man. It's gonna be very yeah, like you absolutely said, it's gonna be very, very close. But Sam again, the same. Sandstorm is your Moose Wars champion. In the final size here, Sandstorm one stock away from being crowned the Mammoth Invitational Champion. And this is Stingray's final chance to keep himself into this. He's taking so much damage. All of his he's denied. Oh! Run for your life! If you have ever played the game Brahalla, there is a high chance that you have heard of the character Magyar, and I can almost guarantee you, you have heard of the character Magyar in a negative light. But, Sandstorm, to this day, is the only person to win a grand finals using the character, which is still just insane to me. And even after that grand finals win, Magyar is still looked at in a negative light. He did end up getting more of players to play him after this Mammoth Cup 2021 championship, but Magyar is still a character that is extremely underrated. Being the only character in the game to have 10 defense so at least give him some some reason to be picked at some point. And I feel like Sandstorm did a perfect job in this tournament just showing how strong Magyar really is. Show the bias, he's my favorite players in my favorite region and we're at the Mammoth Invitational. That means it is the top 32 players. The Magyar is here. His Twitter can be believed. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what he's doing. Is he? There were a ton at the damage. He's dead. Oh! the neutral air. Stingray continues the jungle for a 3-1 victory over Sandstorm. That's huge. He's trying to get his yeah, health back. Yeah, yeah. Does it work that way? <laughs> Doesn't work that way. <laughs> At least he tried. Sandstar takes the set, three to one. Side of Mammoth, and you're gonna fuck well. GG, Sandstar wins it. Snowy's out of the tournament in fifth place, and Sandstar's gonna move on to loser's semifinal. Oh Rise my God, Ace is trying to catch so it. And the DC is. down light will do it. Sandstorm beats out Wrench. Oh, but look how close those numbers are. 589 to 589. Those two pieces saw the dodge coming out. Reset goes for the follow-up. And Sandstorm going to take it 3-0 to earn his fight in the grand final. Yeah, he really needs to get one of those hyper-efficient stocks off of Stingray. He needs to deny this weapon pickup. But Stingray just comes in from underneath. D-Line, gravity cancel, neutral heavy. And Stingray is going to the grand final. Now, in case you guys forgot, in the first match, Sandstorm would end up losing against Stingray, which would have him go on this crazy loser's run with Magyar. And because of this, people were just not really expecting Sandstorm to be able to beat Stingray. After all, he is the person that sent him down to losers. But Sandstorm would do the impossible, not only beating Stingray one time, beating Stingray twice. And it wasn't even close. It was just bullying. Like... When you consider the fact that Magyar is quote unquote the worst character in the game, and Sandstorm literally took the craziest loser's run arguably in of all time on the worst character, you can't call Magyar bad. Like look look at this. Name all the times he's been on stream and tournament, and like you could actually do that. If you're a, if you're a Magyar fan, you could literally do that. 50 damage, which you've seen how quickly Sandstorm does things. Doesn't get the turnaround there. He kind of turned that one around like he was almost a guitar player yeah. on that, hoping for the guitar half fire. He's trying to go for that, that continued pressure. I mean, he was literally just playing a guitar character, so maybe that's the logic behind that one. But a side air. Stingray far, weapon toss not gonna connect. D light double D. That was pure style and punish piece. Down here goes for the weapon toss follow up, chasing deep. Oh! Hey, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. We're getting the reset. Sandstorm wins it 3 1 for the bracket. Three still neutral onto Stingray. Wanted to make sure they couldn't jump out, but Stingray finds a response, gets that neutral air. Playing with his food a little bit, didn't want to 
want that weapon pick up. Still have two more stocks on either side, so uh, getting a little premature with the Ego. Oh, they knocked out the recovery. Tried to extend it off stage. The sandstorm was just too high. Was able to get back to the main platform. Goes for the same direction option there. For the end line read, but stick right one to the other side again. That 50 50 really strong for the great sword players out there. We're pretty close to being even here. We're now two minutes into this game, oh. and all of a sudden that stock is gone. Weapon spawn comes in, Sandstorm tossing away the hammer. Knows this great sword's looking so good here. That T Light Gravity gets on neutral heavy, puts Sandstorm into the red on the second hit. Just getting this damage built up. Really good recognition on the tail end of that last one to go for three boost the unjumpable version where he got that T Light bridge into the heavy finisher. But Stingray does find a response. We're going into the final stacks here. Sandstorm one stock away from being crowned the Mammoth Invitational Champion. This is Stingray's final chance to into this. He's taking so much damage. All of his recoveries back to the platform getting denied. Oh! It's the Russian Mafia from Sandstorm to finish it out. 3-0 in the reset and Sandstorm will be the North American Mammoth Invitational Champion. The main lesson from this video is it doesn't matter what someone says is the best character in the game or not if you're willing to put enough time and effort into a character you can make them the best in the game even though everybody doubted the fact that magyar was a usable character sandstorm still managed to win an invitational where he not only just had a he didn't have a perfect run per se but he still just dominated the bracket besides losing the steering at one time and he still came back in from losers all the way back to Stingray and beat him twice. So the story and moral of the video is meta doesn't necessarily matter if you put enough effort and time into one character. Even if you watch like the San Diego stuff from today, you saw that Impala said that he wasn't gonna switch off with Kaya because he feels like it's just the character he's the best now. And if that means that Kai becomes quote unquote bad and meta turns and Apollo still wins, it's not that Kai is broken or he has some secret tech. It's just that he finds a way to make the character everyone calls bad good by depending on practice into the character. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Until next time.